It's time for In Style Now, an up-to-the-minute update on what's hip and what's not. Brought to you by Jorum Clove Cigarettes, the acrid ones, and by the Art Institute of Seattle. You may not get a job, but you'll be hip. And by the manufacturers of Black Fabric. Good evening and welcome to In Style Now. I'm Evan Evanrude. We've had, a we've had a very hip week. Lots of things became hip this week. Many other things are no longer hip. We'll get to the details in a moment, but we must start tonight's show with an apology. Last week, as part of our ongoing series on body piercing, we showed you what we understood to be the hippest new way to pierce your body. We have since learned that this photo had been doctored. <laughs> and we regret any injuries resulting from our story. Now the hip update at this moment, uh, toast is cool, muffins are out, uh, Monterey Jack is cool, Swiss sucks. The, the hippest thing on video at the moment is watching reruns of the old Seattle Today with Cliff Lenz and Shirley Hodson. <laughs> interesting, interesting, and hip. Now let's go to Sydney with the music report, Sydney. Thank you, Evan. At this moment, we can report that these bands are considered hip. One Dove, Catherine Wheel, and Big Chief. The following bands were hip until about 15 minutes ago and should now be considered passe. The Gin Blossoms, the Lemonheads, and Belly. The bands Four Non Blondes, Blind Melon, and the Stone Temple Pilots, while presenting themselves as hip, are not to be considered hip unless you live in Redmond or Woodenville. We'll stay in touch, Evan. All right, thank you very much, Sydney. Now, as part of our complete hip music coverage, we now present Musician's Journal, where we get to know a little bit more about hip musicians. Please welcome the drummer from Nirvana, Dave Grohl. Hello. Welcome, Dave. Now, tell us, what hip things have you done this week? Um, well... On uh, Monday. All right, just a minute, just a minute. I'm getting, I'm getting word from the director. Are, are we sure on that? Nirvana is no longer hip. <laughs> Dave, get the out. Out. Will someone please help Mr. Grohl out? Dave, out. Out now. I am sorry that you had to see that. I can't believe we had somebody from Nirvana on the show. They are just, they are so on the hip. All right, by the way, for those of you keeping track, wearing all black clothes has now been hip for a record 6,227 days in a row. And of course, topping it all off, hi, uh, topping all, off, uh, all hip fashion off is a hip hat, which brings us now to InStyle's hat report. Curtis? Thanks, Evan. Okay, it's winter time, everybody. Leave the baseball hats at home because it's time to hit the slopes. And the only way to do that is wearing a bitchin' hat like this when you're snowboarding. <laughs> snowboarding, by the way, is really cool. But if you're a latecomer who's a poser and doesn't really shred, well, that's uncool. Now, it used to be cool to wear this hat really high, like the cat in the hat. You know, Dr. Seuss? Seuss is cool. But now, so many lame asses are wearing it that way that it's uncool. So it's coolest now to wear the hat rolled down like this. Now that, my friends, is cool. Back to you, Evan. All right, thank you very much, Curtis. What's, oh, uh, now back to Sydney with a late-breaking music update. Sydney. Thank you. This just in. Catherine Wheel has been getting substantial airplay on KNDD, the end, which makes that band very, very out. So move Catherine Wheel to the passe list and replace them with the Afghan wigs. Thank you, Sydney. Now, in other music news, the word grunge is now officially not hip because it's appeared on the cover of the Seattle Weekly. <laughs> other words that are now on hip include is, <laughs> Seattle, and January. All right. Now, this update. Cliff Lenz is no longer hip. <laughs> Agnes Moorhead as Andorra on Bewitched is now hip. <laughs> Parsley. Parsley is not hip. Nirvana is... Nirvana is hip. Nirvana is officially hip again. Bring, bring Dave Grohl back out. <laughs> Dave, it's nice to have you back. Now, tell us about some of the hip things that you've done this week. Well, like I was saying, uh, a couple days ago, Chris and I were... Uh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Out, okay, I've just know. received... Are, are we sure on that? <laughs> All right, I've, I've just received word that I am no longer hip. <laughs> I have to go now, so I'll see you in 15 minutes or so. Dave, take over. <laughs> For 
almost live this week. Uh, I want to thank uh, Dave Grohl for stopping by. You are definitely hip. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Dave. And, uh, just a mention that Almost Live Activewear is still available if you call this toll-free number. This is the Don't Buy the Imitations, the one, the bootlegs that they're selling outside the concert halls. And if you wear these shirts, you get in free to any Nirvana concert, uh, right? <laughs> that, that? Anyway, also, if you want to be really, if you want to be really hip, uh, you should come and join us down here in the studio because that's where all the uh, cool people in town come, right? Yeah. No, it's okay. You don't have. It's where. It's also. The biggest applause lights in town are down here, too. So anyway, call this number for tickets. Anyway, thank you, and we'll see you next week.